some sharp tips uh, about circle. Okay, so if you if they give you a question and they only show you this figure, and ask you to look for what, um, the shaded area. How can you go about doing that? Okay, firstly, when you see a figure, you must learn to see what makes up this figure. What are the shapes that make up this figure? At one grasp, right, you can easily see that if I connect this line and this line, what are the shapes that I can see from this figure? Okay, think for yourself. Huh? I'm going to review the answer. You will see. Wait. Like that, right? You will see something like a square and a quarter of a circle. Correct or not? So this, you can think, what makes up this figure? What causes this figure? Okay, so if this figure is, they didn't give you this, you can know that what makes this up. Because I see an arc, so it's something like, when you see an arc, you should think of a circle. Okay, it can be one quarter of the circle or a semi-circle or whatever circle. So then you see something like that. It, may, it can be a, it, it will be a rectangle, triangle or whatever, okay. Then you go and draw it out. And then you can see. If this one plus this one will give you this one. So what if I take this one minus away this one? So when I take a square and minus away the quarter, the, the quarter of a circle, right? I I cannot see the quarter of the circle already, right? So from this figure, if I take the square, I minus away this one. That means when I minus away this one, that means this nine and this one is gone. And then this is how I get this. How I get this figure here? You understand? And then I just shade this figure and ask you to find the shaded area. It's not hard, right? You can go and... Um, now, now, whatever things that you see, uh, I mean, as in you walk along the streets and what, try to think that shape is made up of what are the shapes. What shapes makes that shapes like out, you know? Like something like... Uh, with this in mind, you can actually easily do this kind of things. Let's say if I, I were to shade this area. Looks very complicated, right? But you must first think, what makes up this thing? What makes up this thing? If I don't give you, if I don't this give you this, a, this dotted line here, dotted line here, dotted line here, it may be very scary, right? If I were to just see things like that, see the whole figure like that, Wow, so like so so hard to find the area right if I will just give you a figure like that just like just now if I were to just give you a figure like that looks hard for you to find right so what should you do you do wrong like that because here already show you it's 21 then what makes out this figure what makes out this figure if you draw like out the square so you have a square and three quarter circle, right? And then when you find this area, is it hard? It's no longer hard, right? I'm not going to find for you. I will, this will be included in your question. But I want you to learn how to visualize. Understand? What about this? It's one big circle. And then inside, let's say I shape this or this. I shade all this and then I ask you to find the shaded area but from this figure what can you see you can see what you can see one big circle and four semicircle then you can easily find this area correct or not or if I don't want to do this I don't you I don't shade this shaded I go and shade this shaded this become shaded I should here. Huh? I should here. Yeah, even. 
able to find right? Correct or not? Will you be able to find? What will be this? All the shaded area? Because we already know there's one big circle and then four semi circle. Correct or not? Okay, go go and think uh. go and think about it. What if for this case, what if I only give you this and I don't give you this? I don't give you this, but I only give you a picture like that. A rectangle uh, triangle with an arc like that. Okay? When you see this and you know that this is six, that means the radius is six. You can draw the circle yourself. And you can easily find this area here, right? Okay, this one may be a little bit complicated because it gives you the degree. You know that here is 90 degree and here is what? Because the whole of the uh, triangle is actually 180 degree, right? Minus 90, minus 30. What is this? It will give you what? Let me see, huh? Sixty, right? Sixty degree, sixty degree, and you know that the whole circle is what whole circle is, three hundred sixty degree, right? Six hundred three hundred sixty degree. So this portion here is only sixty degree of the three hundred sixty degree. So sixty degree over three hundred sixty degree, you give you one six. So this is one six of this circle. So if I'm able to find the area of this circle, I will be able to find what is this area, right? So when you're looking at questions like this, you have to think out of the box. So when you walk on the road today, take, your, uh, take, take whatever thing that you see, think what, is, what makes up the shape of this thing. Go and see if it fits into any rectangle, triangle, circle, square, or whatever, okay? I hope that this uh, math tips can help you to start thinking. Start thinking, uh, looking at things at different angles.